want to find out what's going on in your community, El Observador is San Jose's bilingual weekly newspaper. Go to your local newsstand and pick up your free copy today. Looking for the training and skills you need to get a new career? Call Center for Training and Careers today. That's CTC at 408-213-0961 and start building your new career today. Wapili Rose Amador and this is Native Voice TV. Well you know when the show comes around and we have to tape I have to decide what to wear right? Well I want to introduce two gentlemen who are on the air and they don't have to worry about what to wear because they're on the radio. So, oh wait a minute I <laughs> have to beg to differ with you. I saw you in shorts. Anyhow I'd like to introduce <laughs> Jack Hyatt with Indian Time KKUP and Sipatsing David Romero, who's also our camera person for Native Voice TV. And you have a show called Native Way, and you're also on Indian Time. So welcome to both of you. Well, thank you. Who don't have to dress for your show. No, that's true. I come sometimes, I, yeah. sometimes I am made to look civilized. Why? Because my wife won't let me out the way I'm dressed. Oh, good for her. <laughs> that's it. And you never know who may stop by and visit the station. Well, yes. Tell us about the radio show. How long have you been on there? Me? I've been on there, I can't remember, probably four or five years. And you were on with, with uh, Ross, Ross Gritz, Gritz. Yes. and Ross was on for a long time too. You guys and were a great team. Well, there was, um, there was a number of different hosts on the program, and it seems like an, a, a hereditary kind of a situation mm -hmm. and I don't know if anything if anyone was on before June Legrand but June, June Legrand was the first one that I knew that was and her name of her program was the Living Spirit. Ah. So it's been evolving over the years. Over the years it's been on for over 30 years Wow! on the radio. And it's on every Tuesday Stay night from 8 until 10 p.m. 91.5 FM. You know, I, the reception's getting better. For a while there, I had to sit in my car to, to bring the station in, but now I'm actually Well, you're kind of like the receptionist at my dentist. Because yeah, she code, used to go out. Hanger, yeah. hanging, you, know, you have to hang off the. <laughs> you go outside and sit in her car. Climb the telephone pole. <laughs> I think it's um, what ends up happening is, is that. Um, the way that the, the transmitter is set up, th that it it has the footprint. Ah. The footprint is down in this area, and then kind of like up the east side of the East Bay, because it depends. Once you once you because it were like a low low wattage channel uh -huh. station, that it depends on where you're at. And what the atmospheric conditions are mm -hmm. as to where you can pick us up at. I know. Sometimes I'm sitting in my car and I don't want to miss anything. It's okay. I'll just have to sit in the driveway. <laughs> but I'm getting it okay now. So yeah. maybe they've got an extra charge or something. There. I don't know. But I know that we're very, very strong over in Santa Cruz on the other side oh, of unusual, the mountain. Huh? Yeah. And King City. Are you kidding? It we're right, right here in Santa Cruz. All the way down to King City and Wow. And but when you start getting up in Palo Alto and Menlo Park and, and stuff in San Francisco, it depends on what hill you're sitting on <laughs> whether or not you get us because then they have other radio stations that are close. Uh, right, right. And you have to, to really, that, really get yeah, in there and, it, on the and dial. the way that the digital tuning is now you don't you can't get that real fine Mm -hmm. fine-tuning that we used to get on you know the old tube radios when we was kids 
Well, I'm not going to say that you had tubes in your I don't know anything head. about tubes. Yes, I know. <laughs> but he does. Oh, he does. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, he used to have a radio with tubes. Yes, he did. <laughs> and the coat hanger and the whole Oh, yeah. You know, I, I, I still have a, a, a real nice collection of eight-track tapes. And, uh, I shouldn't say player. this. They're coming back. He knows they're coming back. I shouldn't back. say this. I just have a four-track tape player. Oh, that was the first I had. Mm -hmm. I just found it. And I had it. I had it before I had my car. Yeah. Because I was hoping to have the car, but I wanted to be ready when I had just it. Just in case. Oh yeah. Just in case. That was going to be, you know. So now, how did you get into radio, both of you? Trickery. Ah. Trickery got me into it. Mm hmm. Because, you know, Ross and I are both Cherokee, and he's, he's, he was my elder, and we had a really good rapport with each, with each other. And so when he felt like talking about spiritual stuff, he would call me up and ask me to come down and be on the program because he knew that, that we basically had similar thought mm -hmm. patterns, you know. And so then he says to me, after making me come down there all the time, he said, well, why don't you become an alternative programmer, alternate programmer? He said, then you can fill in for me mm -hmm. when he has to, he when was he the, the head. Board of, yes, right. programmers meeting. And he was the head of the spoken word department. So when he got sick, then what ended up happening was is that I inherited the, the program and I also inherited the spoken word department. So David was hanging around and not doing anything. <laughs> See what you happens. Know? <laughs> and I said to David, hey, come on down and visit. And so he came down and Brought the announcements and for he, you to read. Yeah, and, and, and first I had to give him the announcements to read. Mm -hmm. And so then he started, he got ambitious and he started going to powwows and stuff like that and getting flyers from around because he wanted to do that and wanted to do good at it. And he's done an excellent job of uh, doing that. And then I suggested to him, why don't you become an alternate programmer? And he says, okay, I can do that. And I believed him, and he <laughs> did. And so now he has his own program even, but he continues to come down and read announcements for me because, you know, he loves me. <laughs> I, he loves us too. He's always yeah. taking pictures for us. I mean, he's he always wins the raffles, and he deserves to win the raffles because he I goes don't everywhere. Know. Well, <laughs> wait a minute. Everybody. I I I don't really. Well, I you know, to I, win, but I never do so. Yeah, <laughs> I I think that you know you should spread the wealth around That's, because you know, you know Ross used to do that. Used to win all the time too. And he'd go and he'd go to a powwow and, and he'd buy one raffle ticket oh. and stick it in the thing and he'd win the Pendleton blanket or something like that. Oh, that's a trick. <laughs> well, David, I know he always buys a lot of tickets. He yeah. always supports all the different events. Yes, he so. does. And he's very active out there in the community mm -hmm. also, you know, so we talk about yeah. lucky's not here. Yeah. That's all right. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the thing is, is somebody, somebody has to speak up for people sometimes. And when you get an opportunity to speak up for a friend and acknowledge his accomplishments and watch the progress that he's making as he's moving forward into different areas, you know, I, I think that's kind of like worth mentioning, you it know, whether he's is. here or not, it's you know. Yes. Uh, yeah. now, David, you're also chair of the Northern California Apache Council? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. That was an uh, honor that was bestowed on me by uh, the members of the Apache Council. Uh, like you said, both of you, I, I started involving myself in a lot of the programs in the area. And when it came down for us to grow, they realized that I had uh, 
all the qualifications for a chairman, being an, uh, affiliated with the TV station here with this program, Native Voice and, and Indian Time Radio, and and a member of the Alliance and uh, and many other groups. So uh, they saw that I was going to all the powwows and things, and uh, they said, well, you know, we'd like for you to be our chairman. And I told them, well, you know, I, I just want to be a member right now. And they told me, get over it. You're going to be our chairman. And <laughs> well, I respect the fact that well, you're yeah. not just a member of all these organizations. You're an active member. Oh, you I really participate yeah. and contribute, and that's really yeah. commendable that Thank you do you. that. Thank you. Yeah, I try hard. I, uh, I, one of the urban Indians who didn't find out till later in life that I was an Apache, and and once I did, I I mentioned it to a friend of mine, and and uh, he started taking me to powwows. And two years later, I got invited into the Apache family, became a member of the American Indian Veterans Association, and uh, and I got into uh, the Gona gathering of Native Americans, and I just I just felt so good at. Uh, being with these people, that found I, your Im place. I found my place. I, I immersed myself in, it and uh, and the more I do, the more I learn, and the more I learn, the more I do. And and it's and people tell me you're going to get burnt out. You're going to get burnt out. You know, slow down. And I says, uh, no, I haven't. I haven't got there yet. You know, and and until I do, well, you know, I'm going to keep doing it. And so I, you learned how to be a DJ from Jack. From Jack, <laughs> yes, I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And uh, you know, I uh, I got a program now, uh, Native Way, mm -hmm. and uh, being on Jack's program all the time and being an alternate for him it gave me the opportunity to practice. And uh, when the the uh, slot came up, my name was submitted by Teresa, and uh, Jack went to bat for me. And out of five people that were looking for it, I I had. To, uh, been the one selected, and uh, there, are other people that put in for it have a lot more experience than than me and all that. But I, I believe Teresa and Jack really, really uh, put a good word in for me, and I really appreciate that, Jack and and Teresa when she sees this. Well, we put in a good word for the community because I think that um, I think the American Indian community, as far as the media goes in this area, is un very very underserved. Absolutely. And I think that right now we have um, two-hour one, two one, two programs per month. And then my program, which is on every Tuesday night, and that's the two-hour program. So that's another eight to ten hours per month. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're averaging uh, 14 hours a month of programming now. That's great. And uh, so I just think that um, I think we're we're trying to move forward and try to be more re representative of our community. It's so important because you, when you listen to the show, it's just so exciting. You know, you, you can relate to the what you're saying, the events, the music, everything. You know, the same thing we hear about this show. You know, people get excited that there's a native show. I'm waiting for you to be in the whole Bay Area. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, it's it's, 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 it's um, there is word on the moccasin circuit that satellite TV is coming to Indian country. Really? And I think because you have an award-winning program that, um, that your, your program certainly should have a place where you're represented on a, on a national basis. And I think that, that when uh, satellite, native satellite TV comes to America, and you know it it's almost like that guy coming again the one that was lost <laughs> well thanks jack you know we just have to get out there on that smoke signal right yeah. <laughs> but you know i have to give other people a lot of credit because you know the ones who work on the show the people from comcast but david you know does a lot of the the photography yakoet does a lot of the you know, production work, cross see what, you know, they, they work really hard to put the show together and yeah. get the guests and do the set and do, you know, a lot of behind it's, the scenes. It's things. not, it's not just 
You don't get up in the morning and turn on your TV and automatically you're there. No, <laughs> it doesn't okay. happen that way. And, and, but it's fun too, because you know, like sometimes you just going there, or coming here, or like as you know, going to the station. Oh, do I have to do it today? But then you get there, and it's fun. Yeah. It's fun with the, you know the people that you meet, you know, and then you're blabbing and talking, and you don't even want to go home after it's yeah. over. But it, it's fun. It's fun. And yeah. we we tell people all the time, you, um, with all the diversity that that station offers for free, um, you know, and the people that volunteer their time to go and do mm -hmm. those programs, because it's it's not a it's not a paid job. That's right. And it's like a labor of love that you give back to the community. Yes. And you keep giving back to the community because the community turns around and they give back to you. You know, and. That's true. There's, we have one of our, one of our guests that call all the time, one of our listeners, that is legally blind. And she always attends the Alliance holiday gathering. And she always recognizes where my uh -huh. voice is. She knows my voice, she says, and she'll send her husband over to get me. Go get Jack and tell him to come over and say oh, hi. That's nice. So it's, it's. It's good. It's good. It is. We try it to, is. you know, try to do the best that we can to to be a full service mm -hmm. to the community. And you meet such very nice people in the community, oh. all over. I mean, just just you know, from the, the radio and being here, and it's 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 a really good experience. And people they come from out of, out of the uh, area too, you know, from across the nation, and they hear about the show and they want to come on. And it's really exciting to hear what they're doing in yeah. different parts of the country. Yeah, and see, that's that's what we need more of. And there, I remember there was one 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 in, one native program that came out of Canada, and it was a news program. And what they would do is um, it would be like the stories coming out of Indian country. Mm -hmm. And they would rebroadcast those over the air. And they stayed on for a long time, and then all of a sudden they disappeared. Oh. And we don't need our programming to disappear. Oh, that's for sure. We don't have enough of it. Yeah. How do you find your guests? We beg, borrow, and steal. <laughs> I get a lot, of, a lot of them for our program from here on uh, Native Voice TV. And, uh, so they that's come borrowing, up. huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We share. We, <laughs> we, we wanna, share. We call. We want to <laughs> share. And uh, I know uh, some of our guests. I I let them know about about our program here, and and have a few of them have been on, and I think some are scheduled to come on, in the future here. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I don't know if I mentioned that my program is on the fourth Sunday, the fourth of, each, Sunday. Mm, of each month, from one to three. So is it coming up? Are we on well, the fourth Sunday pretty up. soon? The fourth Sunday is coming well, up Yeah, it should be a couple of Sundays. Yeah, because we're already yeah, we're at the end of the month, so it should yeah. be yeah. probably so this Sunday, Sunday, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I don't know when this is going to air, how that will yeah. fall into the scheme <laughs> of things, yeah. but it's the fourth so Sunday. So it, it'll be the fourth Sunday, and it's, okay. it's from 1 to 3 p.m., so it's, it's a pretty good time slot. And, and uh, you know, if you want to listen, tune in. And, yeah, right. You know, we have a short clip. Of Floyd Westerman, who we all know, I hear he's ill. Yes. Mm. You know, he had a, I guess, a lung transplant mm -hmm. a while back, and he was doing okay, but I hear he's ill again. So let's take a look at some work he's done just recently in the community. Yeah. He has something on. Uh... So many Indian people don't even know that they have lung cancer. They might be born Indian, but they end up getting very paranoid because. In one hand, they're, they're praying Christian, and the other hand, they're the Indian way. And they don't know the way back to that Indian way. So there's a who am I thing going on, and that's why a lot of young people are that way. They're on the reservation, and they know they're Indian, but what's, where's the Indian in all this? Methamphetamine to broken home. And the reason why we're in this big problem is the Europeans came with the Bible, and in the Bible it said very little about Mother Earth as sacred. 
that's a very crucial absence of thinking on earth that they didn't think Mother Earth was sacred enough. And the absence of that has got them in this polluted world. And our children have no future because of it. To the Indian people, to all of us, the Earth is our Bible. See, it's just the opposite. In other words, our thinking and consciousness goes way beyond Christian thinking. Here's Christian thinking with their thoughts is very people-centric. And it speaks of good things as people should be to each other, but they haven't even lived up to that. Thou shalt not steal. Look who's got all the land and who's got the Bible. <laughs> Indians got the Bible and they got the land. I think Christianity needs to be spoken to in a certain way. I mean, uh, Get out of the way. Let the Indian way of life speak to everybody. Spread the word of your religion. Convert the whole world if you can. Kill and slaughter those who oppose you. It's worth it if you save one man. Take our land to build your churches. I sing to tax the house of God Take a child while he is supple Spoil the mine and spare the rod Go and tell the savage and native That he must be Christianized Tell him and his heathen worship And you make him civilized Shove your gospel, force your values down his throat until it's raw. And after he is crippled, turn your back and lock the door. Like an ever circling vulture, you descend upon your prey. Then you pick a soul to pieces. And you watch them as they decay Cause religion is big business As your bank accounts will show And Christ died to save all mankind But that was long ago Missionaries, missionaries Go and leave us all alone Save the soul of all your white men, we have a way of our own. Missionaries, missionaries, go and leave us alone. Take your white God to your white man, we have a way of our own. Without a job. Flour large, sugar salt, stuck on a red without a job. People going for the gold and shooting for the moon, I'm stuck on the red without a job. Stuck on the red without a job. Stuck on the red without a job. Casino here, casino there, casino everywhere, stuck on the red without a job. Flour large, sugar salt. Stuck in the red without a job. Stuck in the red without a job. Stuck in the red without a job. That's enough for nothing. Let's send our prayers out to Floyd Red Crow Westerman. He's been ill, and that was a great production by Yucko. And congratulations. A um, couple things before we get back to our guests. I want to remind you about the ARP campaign, and that's the Divided We Fail. We will fail if we don't join together and support the ARP campaign, which is health care for all. So please support the United We Fail campaign. Just log in 
uh, to aarp.org and you can support the cause. Uh, I want to remind you that the American Indian Alliance, because Jack brought this invitation, <laughs> invites you to a dinner and silent auction, and that's on November 29th. It will be at the Los Gatos Lodge in Saratoga from 6 to 10 p.m. Tell us a little bit about that, Jack. Well, the silent auction, which has been going on for a few years now, is an opportunity to raise funds for the American Indian Alliance. And as you know, American Indian Alliance co-sponsors a lot of events yes, in do. the area. And um, so we do need to raise funds. And this is one of the ways of raising funds. And it helps to go to, towards um, uh, the holiday gathering right. and other things. Uh, that the Alliance does. Uh, and this is a great event. We only have a minute left. But this is a great event because this is one you really have to bring your checkbook to because I go crazy. They have so many nice things. Oh, beautiful, really, beautiful really stuff. Really, nice things that auction. Beautiful stuff. So I want to thank you both for coming. Well, thank you for having us. And I want yeah, to remind everyone that. to tune in to both these radio shows. They're wonderful. One's on Tuesday, one's on the last Sunday of the month. Mm -hmm. And they're wonderful DJs, both of you. So thank we look you. forward to your show. Well, thank you. Make sure you come out and support the American Indian Alliance on November 29th. Tune in to KKUP 91.5. And that's, to, that's every Tuesday. So uh, we're on Sundays and they're on Tuesdays. So make sure you tune in. We'll see you next week. We have week. Teresa. Oh, yes. And Teresa is also on the show. So tune in and support all of our DJs. Thank you. We'll see you next week.